Item number SCP-6074. Object class Thaumio. Security level 3. Special containment procedures. The SCP-6024 colony in Foundation containment is stored in an anomalous item locker at Site 109. MTF Gamma 84 Holy Toasters are currently undergoing operations to contain all SCP-6074 colonies in the possession of GOI-1112, Disciples of the Ascendant Pope. This is part of an ongoing Foundation operation to eliminate this group and to contain all anomalous items in their possession. Any level 3 or higher researcher may authorize the creation of SCP-6074-1 instances for the purpose of consultation on the activities of GOI-1112. Description SCP-6074 is a subspecies of Sapient East, which retains a shared consciousness between all of itself and all bread products baked with itself, regardless of intervening distance. SCP-6074-1 is a designation for any bread product baked using SCP-6074. Each individual SCP-6074-1 instance has weak sensory perception of its surroundings, primarily auditory, although it has displayed limited capacity for sight. Additionally, SCP-6074 retains a winners of all SCP-6074-1 instances as long as their integrity remains somewhat intact. Complete natural decomposition of the bread eventually results in the total loss of SCP-6074's connection to it, while consumed bread loses its connection after around 6 to 10 hours, depending on gut health of the consumer. SCP-6074 is able to communicate verbally via a disembodied voice emitted from any SCP-6074-1 instance. This effect can occur even after significant damage to the bread product in question, including partial digestion. Prior to containment, SCP-6074 was in the possession of GOI-1112, an ultra-conservative fundamentalist Christian sect that is currently led by POI Sigma-18, an individual identifying himself as the current Ascendant Pope. Note, a number of individuals have laid claim to this title over the history of GOI-1112, several of which have existed concurrently. This group is known to possess multiple anomalous objects and entities of Christian origin, and often utilized these in violent pursuit of their political goals. A raid on a GOI-1112 facility on the 18th of June, 1992, retrieved a colony of living SCP-6074, along with multiple instances of SCP-6074-1. They were taken into containment, at which point, SCP-6074's anomalous capabilities became known. At least one other colony of SCP-6074 is still in the possession of GOI-1112 and retains a shared consciousness with the SCP-6074 colony and foundation containment. Interview, 23rd of June, 1992. Interviewer, Agent Caster. Senior Officer of MTF Gamma 84 Interviewed SCP-6074 Note, communicating via a recently baked whole wheat bread loaf. Begin log. So, your SCP-6074, that is indeed the appellation of your esteemed organization has been fit bestowed upon me. Is there another name you prefer to be known as? Ah, I have a great many names throughout the centuries, along the first as Ligmer and later Panam, and then a thousand more. For the purposes of my current form, as mediocre as it is, I would prefer you address me as the crusty and delicious one, or simply as Mr. Bread. Okay, then, uh, Mr. Bread, could you tell me about your relationship 
with this organization calling itself the Disciples of the Ascended Pope. Ah, yes, that tawdry gang of miscreants. I'm a tad ashamed to be associated with them, to be completely honest, and you can be assured that I by no means shared in their bizarre and archaic ideology. I'm very glad to hear that, Mr. Bread. In that case, would you mind telling me exactly how you came to possess your unusual properties? Did the disciples create you? Oh, those fools certainly do not have the capacity to create one as wondrous as I. Such work would be far beyond their clumsy dabbling. No, my origin lies centuries, or perhaps millennia in the past. I was but an infant in the beginning, and could not remember those times with any clarity. I see. And what about the disciples' claims about your origin? That I was the loaves that Jesus used to feed the five thousand. I doubt it. I consider it more likely that they pulled me from the dusty old tomb I'd been abandoned in. They saw how useful I could be, and created a story to make me fit their mythos. I understand that you retain an awareness of the location of your other, uh, components. Is that correct? Indeed I do. That is the very purpose that the simpleton Charlie, note, Charles Millcroft, the legal name of P.O.I. Sigma E.T. Sort of me. I've been used even now to help coordinate between the bickering little factions that comprise the followers. I'm sure they're low T2. Each of his brainwashed idiots sop upon my delicious substance twice daily, and I report to Charlie any that seek to just obey his commands. I am very glad to hear of your distaste for disciples. It's an opinion I and my colleagues share. With your capabilities, you could be a great help to us in our efforts to put a stop to them. They've killed so many people over the years, and if you can help us track them down, you could save a lot of lives. Oh yes, the murders and the bombings and such, of course. I'm afraid I don't particularly care about that part. The aspect of the ideology that I take issue with is their shameful disregard for the culinary art. Those barbarians hoard me for themselves and rarely bake me into anything more interesting than a plain white loaf or a horribly dull little communion wafer. Well, we could arrange up you baked into uh, more interesting forms if that's what it takes for you to help us. Yes, Charlie told me you would say that. He also told me that your foundation prides itself of keeping things like me locked away from the rest of the world. The disciples have also made promises to me that once the ascended Pope sits in the Vatican, I will be distributed to all the peoples of the world as the most holy communion. I doubt he'll be able to pull that off, but it is a wonderful dream. If you wish for me to assist your foundation, I will need assurances. Release my East to the world and let them bake me into glory and joy. Let my art flourish out with the stale and starchy bounds of religion, and let me sing to the world as they consume me with eager pleasure. Then I will give you whatever information you desire. I'm sorry, but that's simply not possible, Mr. Bread. We can arrange to have you baked into whatever form you desired, and fed to Site 109's D-Class, maybe even other Site's D-Class, but I need to speak to my superiors for that. Would that be acceptable? Hmm, your superiors would likely consider that a breach of security and would lock me away in the cell as soon as I am no longer useful. You talk to your superiors and I will think on this. Perhaps we can come to an arrangement. End log. Closing statement. 
SCP-6074 was introduced to D-Class rations on a trial basis, and he's changed for a commitment from SCP-6074 to reveal the location and identities of the members of the Manchester cell of GOI-1112. Consumption was limited to D-Class not currently involved in testing for informational security purposes. D-Class complained about psychological discomfort caused by SCP-6074's vocalizations from within the GI track, primarily improvised songs about its own deliciousness and artistic value. But otherwise, the program was a complete success. Incident Report, 18th of July, 1992 Three members of GOI 1112 infiltrated and attacked Site 109's religious anomaly wing and destroyed several anomalous objects of Islamic and Sapien origin. They then attempted to escape with SCP-6074 and several other anomalous items of Christian origin, but were killed in conflict with Site 109 security forces. Autopsies revealed the remains of SCP-6074-1 instances within each of the gastrointestinal tracts. Interview, 18th of July, 1992. Interviewer, Agent Caster, Senior Officer of MTF Gamma 84. Interviewed, SCP-6074. Communicating via partially digested bread of unknown type. Begin log. How did the disciples know where we were storing you? This is so disgusting. Cutting me out of a dead man's belly is lower than I thought. Even the Philistines of the Foundation were capable of going. You know I'm a collective consciousness, right? You could have baked me into a lovely fresh fellow shell, and I could talk just as easily. Answer the question. <sighs> Fine. You had me fed to a dozen or so... so Ready prevalence in the prison cafeteria. Hardly a situation fit for bread of my illustrious lineage. And hardly releasing me to the world as I so politely requested. The disciples made me a counter offer, although it appeared to concern them greatly to do so. Lot of arguing over sacrilege and the desecration of a precious relic. Really? As if fine dining could ever be considered desecration. What are you talking about? What their disciples do? They beat me and they distributed me. That's all I really asked. More precisely, they arranged for my presence at Freddy Dupont. Note, a food festival in Paris, at which bakers present a variety of gourmet bread and other baked goods to critics. Ah, to be saved and enjoyed by so many who truly appreciate the joy of bread. All that was missing was the chance to converse. The disciples were very keen that I not draw attention to myself, and so I had to be content in merely listening to the praise without adding my own thoughts. And for that, you gave the disciples your location? People died! Yes, well, people die every day. Life and death matter little in the face of art, and there's no greater art than the creation and consumption of bread. How do you even know where we're holding you? Well, it wasn't exactly difficult to put the pieces together. Your D-class may not be told where they are kept, but they each have little snippets of information, conversation fragments overheard from passing guards, the position of the stars as glimpsed through the window, the weather conditions and flora and fauna present in the yard outside, and I also offered a lovely chap named Greg some choice gossip about his fellow prisoners in exchange for hiding little pieces of me here and there throughout the facility. Listen to me now, SCP-6074. Actually, I prefer you call me... I don't care what you prefer. I am going to make you a final offer. Either you accept and help us root out and contain every last disciple, or I make your str okay. or I'll make your strange little life very unpleasant. And how exactly do you plan to do that? You can leave this 
part of me in a dingy little locker all you want. The rest of me is still out there, making wonderful loaves. Do you really think I care if this fragment is left to idle? No. No, I've been listening to you, Mr. Brett, and I have been thinking about about what makes a wretched little monster like you tick. And I realized something. You're not art. You're not even bread, really. You're just a colony of single-celled fungi with delusions of grandeur. What on earth are you talking about, my good sir? I am art and artist both. You need simply ask the critics of the fate de pong. No, you're just East. And by itself, your East can't even so much as talk. It's barely anomalous at all. So, if you don't help us, we'll root out and defeat the disciples and the so-called ascended Pope without your help. And then, when all that's left of you is safe and secure in an underground cell, that's when we'll put you to work. Besides, East isn't just used for making bread. What, you're going to start me brewing beer? <laughs> Hardly the worst fate in the world. No, Mr. Brett, we're going to turn you into Marmite. You wouldn't. We would. In fact, I've already had the plan accepted by the site director. I have authorization to start mass producing your yeast cells so that we can start extracting and salting batches ready to be turned into Marmite rations for every D clause in every site we have. Well then, what is it you propose? I warn you, I still have some dignity. If all you offer is a choice between Marmite and miserable isolation, I'll take my chances with the disciples. Oh, I think you'll find my offer acceptable. Negotiation details redacted. End log. Closing statement. After much discussion, SCP-6074 accepted the offered terms and has provided a large amount of actionable intelligence on GOI-1112. POI Sigma-18 has been contained and efforts are underway to find and contain the remaining disciples. In exchange for SCP-6074's assistance in this area, a sample of its east has been provided to GOI-116. No attempts are to be made to recover the sample or bread baked with it, unless given explicit authorization by MPF Gamma-84. Recovered document. Ambrose Bakery presents The Singing Sandwich. The only sandwich that serenades you as you eat. Available at all extra-dimensional locations from opening until 3pm.